Perthshire is a classic mountain bike destination within Scotland. For me, it's a 30 minute drive to get there. The trails are so varied, they're super fun. You've got a mix of technical stuff. You've got those hand cut trails and also a trail center. This series showcases my favorite trails in Scotland. I'm creating it sustainably by planting more trees, giving back to the trail associations, and offsetting all our journey emissions. Get rolling! Woo! In this episode, we'll be exploring Dunkeld, Comrecroft, and Aberfeldy. Dunkeld is a special place to me. It's where my love for mountain biking started. I've got so many memories of riding here. I mean, I did my first ever FDA race here on a hardtail, which looking back is pretty wild. It was, and still is, a gnarly track. Over the last number of years, with the popularity of riding natural hand-cut trails increase, I've seen it firsthand grow to be a popular riding location. It's a small, quaint village that is surrounded by four hills, which each have their own style of mountain bike trails. Rectoroon is a classic Dunkeld enduro trail. It's a pretty arduous climb up to the top, but when you get there, there are amazing views across Perthshire. Dropping in, it's steep, it's loose, it's rocky, there's loads of shell, you pass an old ruin and finish up at the quarry. Is right to room at the top you've got stunning views over Dunkeld and you finish off here in the quarry Commit a Cry is an old school style trail it reminds me of the classic Dunkeld downhill track it's rooty it's technical, there's rock features, you got to work the bike to get the flow, and when you get it right, it feels so good. Way back, way back, way back. You see, in retrospect, I would have did it the same. In hindsight, I'm the only one to blame. I ain't picky, I'm just real specific. I want nothing less than terrific. I know y'all get it. I'm aggressive, so our style is clashing. Killer instinct, and I play with passion. I'd rather be hated for being one of the realest than get a lot of love for these overrated appearance I can stand on skill alone but I'm a package deal I can write the whole song and rap for real I got my head in the cloud with a pun intended I don't need to see nobody I don't want no visits introverted I just flirt with the music small circles how I choose it now you can boo me jump off I'm winning I still love you though shout out to the women watch you was cool they was acting wild walk in leave drunk it was packed for hour belligerent students man the shit got messy Remind me of my first show, I did at the Red Sea I ain't had no DJ, uh -huh. just the tape deck yeah. Opened up a son of Star Child, I love that Met this cat named Larry, he was with The village of Dunkeld itself is a hub for exploring the trail network You can go up, ride one hill, come back down Fuel up, grab a coffee, piece of cake, lunch and then head back out onto the trails. Supporting these local independent shops and cafes is a great way that we as mountain bikers can give back and actually help grow these locations as mountain bike destinations. Number one listed. The hill with the mast has huge panoramic views right over Dunkeld. The trail that we're riding is the Rudder. 
it's called that because you're going to be steering with the rear. It's steep, loose, and there's loads of really fun turns. Show me how to make moves and walk with the winners. Soon went to the pen, I never seen him again. But I did a couple shows with his friends. Lumberjack, brown clown, so and so and do with the orange pants. Ten years later, now I'm rocking the orange pants. <laughs> but they Jabot, though, you know. Fresh to death, yeah. always and forever. Uh -huh. Don't get it twisted, number one listed, nitro, with the nice flow, you know, get in, take a picture baby, it'll last long. East Point is my favorite trail in Lunkeld. Funny story, some of my friends who live here locally nicknamed it the Scully Lachlan Trail because every time I come here to ride, it's a trail that I will ride. It's so good, it's one of my favorites. Kind of got a mix of everything, I'm gonna drop in and I'm gonna show you what it's all about. Hopefully you can see why that is one of my favourite trails in Dunkeld. It's got a bit of everything. Dunkeld's one of the first places I ever did a mountain bike race. For those wondering, I finished last at it. Anyway, yeah, super fun trail. Really, really good. Conditions, I've actually never ridden it in the height of summer where it's bone, bone dry like that. And it is so fast. It's so much fun. You're working for the flow and there's little gaps that can be had and it feels so, so good. Perthshire as a destination doesn't have massive mountains, more rolling hills. It's easy to get to, there's a variety of trails and it's become my go-to riding destination. Conry Croft is this unique location where they've got a real strong focus on sustainability. They're sourcing local produce, they're growing veg on site. It's really family focused. And on top of that, they've got an amazing trail network. There's blue trails, red trails, black trail, a skills park, and there's some really good stuff. And the best part about it is it's suitable for year round riding. This is called Decision Rock got a couple of different options going down there will take you to a red or a black if we carry on up there you've got a beautiful climb and then it opens right up and you're on this kind of rock face and the red actually carries on all the way around the back of Comrie Croft we're gonna go down this trail right here the red super fun pretty flowy and it has some beautiful turns right at the bottom you on repeat, you can see Cause you have closed your eyes You say you listen, but you're missing what it's all about
now since I've hit a jump. A good size jump to hit to kick things off. Really want to get a nice bit of height and then leaned into the right, but I'm just going to session a few times until I feel comfortable and good on it. This time, dude. Here we go. Such a cool trail, absolutely love it. So much fun to ride. It's a nice, easy flow trail, but when you put a bit of speed into it, it really turns it around and makes it more challenging. Aberfeldy, where do I start? It's such a sick location for riding. They've taken it upon their own initiative to actually start a bike park there, and the trails are amazing. They're putting loads of work into it. They're fast, they're flowy, there's berms, there's jumps. It is super fun. I cannot wait to see how this continues to develop as a riding spot. One of the great things about Aberfeldy is that you can stop by Glen Loin. Glen Loin have a coffee shop that pops up on a Friday, so I'll generally ride at Aberfeldy on a Friday only. Complete coincidence. <laughs> um, as a coffee lover, it was so cool actually just walking into the roastery. Not only hearing their passion for roasting great coffee, but seeing the process hearing how they ethically source beans from around the world and are doing it sustainably. Back up to the top now, I'm gonna to hit top of the world. This is top of the world. The name speaks for itself. Let's drop in. Summer in Scotland. Rolling showers in and out all day. It's been so good, the dirt's been prime. And we've got caught in a massive shower. And it's quite hard packed the ground here. And it is now just like sheet ice, super slippy. There we go, Persia as a destination done. Such an amazing place for riding bikes and I think it's only going to get better over the next couple of years. Remember if you do go and visit similar communities to support those local businesses, give back so us mountain bikers are welcome and the trail network can keep evolving. Thanks for watching this episode of Scotty's Scotland Showcase. All the revenue generated from you watching the series will be split between planting more trees in Scotland and the local trail associations. If you want to ride any of these trails for yourself, then be sure to check out the collection link in the description. Well, I was gonna get a shot, but some filmer is like, let's steal the photographer's shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> as soon as that front wheel slid, I was just thinking, oh, Lordy Lord. Lord. <laughs>